Hi, welcome to this... Why did I... <laughs> Hi, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for clicking. Today I'm going to be going through my mold collection. I get a lot of questions about where I get my mold from, so I thought this video might be helpful to at least one person out there. Maybe. We'll see. I have a lot. Um, the reason I'm on the floor is so I can have everything spread out and I put it in categories based on where I got it. So I'm going to do like all of my Amazon molds, all of my Etsy molds, and then I'm also going to rate how the mold was and what I thought of it because there's a lot of stuff I own that I will probably never use again. Also just wanted to say don't compare yourself to me if you have more or less. This has been acquired over two years. I did not go crazy and buy all of these at once. I bought them as I was making sales. So as I would make a sale, I would use that money to buy more molds. So kind of just collected them over time. Stress, don't panic if you don't have a collection close to this much. And if you have more than me, then that's great too. Let's see what I'm dealing with. Ow. So, yeah, we have a lot to get through. <laughs> that actually kind of hurt. <laughs> okay, so I think we should start off with the Amazon molds. And lately I've been trying to buy from Amazon... I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. Buy from Amazon a little bit less and buying either directly from companies or Etsy just because you know, it's Amazon, but sometimes I live in a really remote town and Amazon is just the most convenient. Enough about me. This is a mold that I have clearly never used. I wanted it for pop sockets, but I think it was actually too small, so I just never used it. These two here are what I make my pop sockets with. I brought a couple for you to see. This one's my favorite one. It never sold though, but yeah, I just kind of super glue the resin. I don't fill this all the way. I'll just fill it like a quarter. Fill it with resin and then you have a pop socket. Yeah, I love making pop sockets. I've had a lot of requests to do a pop socket tutorial, so I should get on that soon. I have quite a few of these as well. This is what I use to make my coasters and my wall hanging. I have a couple different coaster examples. Um, I love making these with alcohol inks and I'm actually filming a tutorial about that today So stay tuned for that if you've been wondering about alcohol inks I get quite a few questions about that So use that mold to make my wall hangings my little window hangings that I put chains on I will try to link as many of these as I can find in the description as well I have this I have never used it to be honest because it's kind of big to be a keychain So I never knew what to use it for I actually had a project to do for this guy that I knew from high school He wanted me to make him an anniversary keychain with that was heart shaped and I searched high and low I think I bought like three or four different heart molds trying to find the one I ended up with I have these little bowls trays I think they can be ashtrays because they have this little indent in one corner or they can be jewelry trinket dishes putting like little stickers mushrooms flies at the bottom I kind of wanted the butterflies to be subtle I love how this one turned out but yeah see it has like a little indent on that side so I don't know if that's for an ashtray whatever the customer wants to use it for. How the hexagon one turned out. I think I'm gonna start trying to sell these as a set because selling it on its own never does that well. And this was probably one of my favorite phases I did with like this flower color scheme. I only have one of these left because back before I realized that you can't use a lighter with mold because it makes the resin stick and ruins the mold. I used to use a lighter like hardcore on these. I don't even use lighters anymore in resin to be honest. This is what I use for bigger wall hangings. I actually have a project to do today with this. The Christmas signs that I never even ended up selling. I tried making them a few times. This one turned out really pretty because I put lights through it but I'm so dumb and didn't realize that this star is not attached. So I put the lights through the top here. Star wasn't attached, so I tried super gluing it to the Santa and it all broke and the lights broke and it was just a big mess. But I think this actually would have sold pretty well because it's so cute, especially with the lights in it. So yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> this is the classic love sign. You guys have seen me do a video on this. Also like my molds aren't usually that clean because I just have so much stuff together all the time. So I usually clean them before I work with them. Apologies for the mess. Home sign, which I love because it's super thin and I just think it turns out really cute. I should make another one of these soon. I have home, family, and love with the letters as hearts. And for this one on my store, I have a customization option where you can put a photo of you, loved one, or your family in there. And yeah, I like these molds a lot. I have these notebooks. Um, I really enjoyed making them and I got a good response. I'm so sorry for the beeping in the background as my air fryer. I really enjoyed making these notebooks but I couldn't find good under rings for them and the paper. Okay, if you make resin notebooks, where do you get your paper? Because I didn't want to cut it myself because I'm terrible at cutting in a straight line. 
So I'm sad because I had a lot of interest in these and I really do want to continue making them but I have no idea where to get the paper so let me know if you know. I made these like keychains hanging for your car but they're just kind of big. They're a lot bigger than I thought. One thing I have learned is how to read dimensions on Amazon and before I buy things I actually get out a measuring tape now and I, so I can visually see it because sometimes I'm like oh a couple inches yeah that'll be small and it's not so. <laughs> my mom got this for me for my birthday. This is from the brand Let's Resin and it's Moon Phases. I'm having a little bit of trouble with right now but I think it's going to be one of the prettiest things I've ever made once it does work out. The problem is that I measured it in everything and I cannot get it centered. I just think this is so stunning and it has two more that go on the bottom of this but see how this one's not perfectly centered? So yeah. I don't know. I'm going to come up with something though because I worked really hard on this and I don't want it to go to waste. I'm still working on this one. I don't have the rest of the moon thingies, but I love the look of this one. Pink and purple. I use these little letters to make my initial necklaces. I'm going to put up a custom order section to order your own initial as bracelet or necklace with a gold chain. I tried to make them with these. And it was just so small, like too small to even, like this is already hard to drill into. I found making the initial, oh, there's a K in here. Ooh, I'm gonna try drilling into that later and see if it's better that it's more finished now. These are hard enough to drill into, like the M and bigger letters are awesome, but some of them are just so tiny, the J's turn out really tiny. So you can imagine that this was just too small. There's something in here too. Oh, I actually like this one. It's um, roses with rose gold flakes. It's a skull. Here are my alien and skull molds. These actually sold really well, which I was completely shocked about because I was like, oh, it's just something I would buy. I don't think like it's a target audience thing. People really liked these, so yeah. I recommend of how the resin turns out too. I love those molds. I think I have four or five of these. I have three with me right now. Yeah, three. Um, these are all of my letters that I make keychains with. I will definitely link this below because I'm sure this will be one of the most popular ones. Here are the hearts that I make all my inspirational keychains with and that I ended up making the um, anniversary keychain with for that guy. So yeah, this is my heart mold. I love these. I love how it turns out. They're so pretty and such a good size. I have all of my bookmark molds. I actually switched and I started using different molds and I like these so much better. So highly recommend. I will link these below if I can because I use new ones now. I bought these snowflakes because I wanted to do like little snowflakes for people's tree, like little fillers almost, but I didn't really like how they turned out. And I'm going to show you the difference if you don't already know. So see how these molds are matte inside? This one looks like it has a oh it has a piece of resin in it it's not actually shiny this is matte and doesn't have a shine to it and this one has a shine that's how you're gonna get your resin super clear if you use mo like molds that are matte then that's how your resin turns out cloudy so you're gonna either have to top coat it or polish it wait let me check the tongue because i have a meeting i have to make these into keychains but i have to top coat them and it's kind of a lot of work no idea where i got these but these are succulents and again the mold is matte inside so it doesn't turn out shiny these were just like a lot of extra work but i want to try using this again got this ouija board and keychains i love this mold and how my products turn out with this um i got this on amazon but i also got this ouija board from an artist on etsy and i like this one better and i just like how the details turn out more subtle here are my keychain my controller mold again it's matte so I always have to top coat my um, controller which basically just means taking resin with a paintbrush and top coating it so that it's shiny I love making these though and they're selling pretty decent but yeah they are a little bit more work just because of the top coating here I actually made an ocean piece that I'm really proud of it's sold to a girl named Michelle she's lovely I just took this out of the mold right before I filmed and I love it. I think it's so cute. I think I'm going to paint the edges gold. All different combs. Um, I don't mind the combs. I just find them really difficult to get the resin in each little spot. So I don't use those too often. I have a bunch of cube molds in different sizes. I bought little mushrooms on Amazon and I made these little like... Oh, this is upside down. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So I made this. I kind of want to sell it as like a decor piece because I like the look of it all together. Classic coffin mold. I love this mold. I got this on Amazon or Etsy. This might have been Etsy. I don't fully remember. It was a while ago. I highly recommend making these. These were my top sellers at Christmas time. People loved this one especially. These are from Amazon. More Amazon. The rest of these I'm going to say are Amazon. So my boyfriend's sister and her husband sent me a bunch of hair clip molds. These have been selling really well on my store. Highly recommend. And she also sent me the gold clips that 
go on it. So yeah, I highly recommend making these. Another thing from Amazon, I don't understand how to make these necklaces. Let me know if you guys have ever made them and I'll put a photo up so you can see. I don't understand. Am I just dumb? Like how do you make these? Is it supposed to be poured in layers? I don't get it. They looked super cool in the advertisement photo and then I got them and I was like, wait, this is confusing me. So yeah, never use these. Got a little koi fish for a girl. I'm currently making her a custom koi fish pond. So I just got this because I was looking for a little plastic koi fish to put in and I couldn't find anything I like. So I was like, I'll just make it myself. These molds, I wanted to make like, it's astrological signs and I wanted to make little chokers with this as the pendant, but the mold is just so thin that it's really hard to get the resin in all the areas. Same with this, it just didn't turn out the way it looked in the advertisement photo, but I've seen people make them and they look really pretty, so I feel like it was just my bad. Butterflies. This is another moment of me buying something that I thought was way bigger than it was. I know how to read dimensions now because um, I've honestly never used this. I think I made a few stud earrings with this, but it was just really complicated and I didn't really enjoy it. I have this sphere mold. It's pretty cute. Mostly use sphere molds that look like this. So if you see me making any sphere jewelry, this is what it is. And I also have it in a larger version as well, but this is what all my necklaces are made from. Yesterday I got this little keyboard. So this is a space bar and like I have all different keys. So I have yet to try this. So stay tuned for this. I'll do a video about it. I got these light bulb molds from Let's Resin. Um, and I'm confused about these because I can get the silver part on and everything, but the light seems to move. Like the light seems to turn on and off based on if you move it. So I'm very confused about this as well. Again, that could just be my bad, but I watched them do it in a YouTube video and it looked like it turned on and off from moving it. And I thought it was gonna be more of a functioning light bulb. So yeah, back to the drawing board with these light bulbs. But I like that you have one that can kind of be like a lamp one and one that could be a ceiling light bulb. I forget if I showed you this already. I have this huge kind of Ouija board piece. I could make a big wall piece out of it. I might one day, but I don't really like this one. I don't like how it says witch bitch. I feel like that's rude to witches and I'm not a fan of cats. So I don't really ever use this one but it came with my other Ouija board mold, so. I have this tic-tac-toe mold, it's so cute. I got this on Amazon, and the only thing I don't like is that I, t I like to make five X's and five O's, and it only comes with two each, so I usually have to make the board and then a few days of work to make the X's and O's, but yeah, it's still really cute. One of my current favorites, this is a coaster holder, and it comes with four of these that you can put inside. So when you're not using your coasters, they don't have to be scattered around. Amazing organizational feature. It does use a lot of resin to make this, but I still think it's super cute. My favorite items from Let's Resin is, um, also Let's Resin is also Amazon. It's just a specific company that I really like buying from on Amazon. Um, but I will probably buy from just them in the future. They commented on my TikTok yesterday and I was really excited because I was like, I adore you guys. But yeah, this is an incense holder. It turns out so beautiful. These are a really big seller on my store. So yeah, highly recommend. Kind of bangle bracelet molds. Um, these didn't sell very well. I think I only sold one. That's what's tough about having a business. Sometimes you don't know how well things are going to do until you actually put them up on the store and nobody buys them. <laughs> Crazy buying all of these. A lot of them are from Etsy buying ring molds and I don't know why because I never really made rings. They're kind of hard to make because it's a really small mold and then it always ends up with kind of like a weird line and I don't know. I just didn't really like the final product so I have a ton of ring molds. Kind of jewelry necklace molds. I've been using these since December 2019. I love these. Crystals. Another one. This one's one of my favorites. I love the size of this one. Big letters. I really want to start doing custom orders so people can put it on their shelf. I got this on Etsy. Cute. Oh, I got this sun and moon. There's something in it right now. But you guys have seen these on my shop. It's little tarot card. It's tarot card necklaces and earrings. I've made lots of these. I have the sun and the moon. I love it so much. This is absolutely one of my favorite molds I've ever bought. Another one of my favorite molds is the Celestial Sun. I got this on Etsy. These are all my Etsy molds now absolutely adore this. I like buying stuff on Etsy because you get really unique stuff on there too. My moon one. Maxes and O's on Etsy because after I bought it I found it on Amazon for cheaper and whatever but I couldn't cancel my order for this so I have not used this yet but I got this on Etsy and 
I'm not mad about it. It's really cute. I bought these spheres at one point and to be honest, I didn't really like it because it usually ends up with some weird line in the middle. So I didn't like this type of mold personally. I like the ones like this because then the top part where it's kind of messed up, I can just put a little top piece to hide it. I thought these were going to be super cute for the rings also to kind of have that like little 3D look but was not. All right. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff because I feel like I have a lot more Etsy molds. These are my craft kitsune boxes. Um, I'll link that video below. It was super fun to make and the girl was so sweet that runs this company. So I got a pen mold. This is amazing. I love, love, love this mold and it comes with little ink cartridges to put in. Cartridges? Little ink things to put in. I made this mold myself. It is a lighter mold and I made it using the silicone that I got in the craft box. 10 out of 10 recommend. This was amazing. Like I've used silicone in the past. It did not turn out. This was amazing. You just had to mix part A and B together and press your object in. It was super easy. This mold, it's a little snowflake. I'm making a mirror. I love it. Something in the mold currently right now so I can't show you but I also have a mold to make this. Just like a little makeup holder or essential oil holder, whatever you want it to be. Like seriously adore this and it uh, has a lot of interest and I have a couple of custom orders I'm making right now using this mold. So I think that is everything. I feel like I'm missing a lot. If there's anything I forgot, I'll make a part two of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection and kind of hearing where I get everything because I know that that's a super common question that I get. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!